Yo, Orange Cassidy. What's for lunch? I guess orange chicken. All right, orange chicken it is. Let's get cooking. I'm a private chef. Cook for money, yeah. All right, guys, welcome back to What's for Lunch today. I'm joined by Orange Cassidy. How are you doing, Orange? I'm just gonna put this apron on. I've never seen someone put their uh, the jacket over the apron. That's a new it's a new look for the kitchen, but it looks good. It works. I hope it's okay. So we're here with AEW professional wrestler Orange Cassidy, and we're making orange chicken. It's a little on the nose, but uh, yeah. What else are you gonna do for Orange Cassidy? It works. Make orange juice. What's the diet like for a professional wrestler? Is it strict? Or well, is it just eat, as you can whatever? tell, I I have a very fast metabolism. I can eat with pretty much whatever I want. Oh, there you go. Chicken is a big one, though. Yeah. Do you have like a pre something you eat before? you're about to perform and go out there? I usually have a bagel with cream cheese. Bagel with cream cheese, all right. From That's... back in the amateur wrestling days, you know, the big long tournament, you have a bagel with cream cheese, yeah. get out there. So you've kept it the same, even as you started to rise and grow, you, you're still bagel, bagel and cream cheese guy. It's a classic. I can't go wrong with that. For the orange chicken, we're gonna start, we have some chicken thighs that I've just cubed up there into one inch pieces. This is some soy sauce. And then to that, I'm gonna add, uh, I'm gonna crack an egg in there. Are you gonna do that bit where you crack on the person's forehead? I wasn't gonna do that, but if, if by all means- Should I try, 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 try drill my forehead? Yeah, go for it. All right. There it is. I got it. Boom. Then we have a little bit of white pepper, some salt in here, mix, and then this is just gonna sit for about five minutes while we start getting our sauce ready. And then it's like a quick marinade, but not really. This is just so that the cornstarch binds to this and we can and we can fry it up. You can start zesting that. I'm gonna chop up some garlic here. I've seen your entrance. What's your firework budget like? Is there a reason there's only one? You know, I'm very minimal. And they really said that like, think about doing a fireworks for you. And I was like, ah, that's not really my style. So then one day, they were testing the pyro. It was like a little firework. And I was like, can I have that? And they're like, yeah, we do it anyway. It's free. That's how it's great. <laughs> well, there you go. Nice and nice and simple. Have you always been just a simple guy? That's uh, well, yeah. What is easy going? You know, it's like you do what you have to do, and then you you, you don't. It's like a motion like this. So then you get none of the pith in there, and you, you get all just that nice. None of the you, pith. You did a pretty good. You did a really good job. Because yeah, as soon as you get a little too far down there, it gets yeah. bitter really fast, and we don't want any of that. We're gonna use the juice of this too, and then we will get started breading our chicken. Is there the proper way to cut? Just go this way, or uh, you want to go that this way? way actually, yep. What's your favorite thing besides a bagel and cream cheese? Like favorite food to eat? It's got to be pizza. But if it is a in a pot pie, chicken pot pie, turkey pot pie, whatever it is. I'm a huge pot pie guy. You just throw all that good stuff in there, put a little crust on top, you got yourself a pot pie. You almost had that right, so just, just upside down. I'm literally, everything I do is, is you're just fixing it for me. <laughs> well, this that's is all a, right. Do you cook a lot? Do you, you cook ever? Do you like to cook? Uh, that's a no. Look at me, come on. That sounded like a no, yeah. Oh my God, what am I doing here? <laughs> wow, you don't get a lot of juice. No, you don't. It takes a lot of oranges to get a good amount of juice. You must really love to cook if you have a show about it. I do, yeah. I've, I mean, I've been cooking my whole life, grew up. My uncle used to own restaurants in, in New York City when I was a kid. That's where I started. And then it's just been- You know, started like, there? Yeah, when I, I used to spend summers out there when I was like, you know, 15, 16. How annoying is it when people keep up to you? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Oh, since the bear came out, that's so all. I, it's I get like it, man. All, I get it. People are like, yes, chef, on yeah. your back. Or is yeah. it corner? Behind, Behind. corner. I need yeah. hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've gotten Thank a lot you. of that. Let's take a quick detour mm -hmm. to uh, bear talk. Sure. Is it pretty accurate? Extremely. Okay, because it's seen, also, it's in Chicago too. Like, I've only I've only ever seen, I'll be honest, I've seen season one. It's accurate down to the anxiety level you get from watching at least the first season is like, oh yeah. how it, they, they did a good job capturing that feeling for sure. So this is just cornstarch here. And cornstarch? Cornstarch, yeah. So we're breading cornstarch. You can either bread in flour or cornstarch. Why, why do you pick this cornstarch? Cornstarch is gonna be a lot lighter, crispier. It's ah. not gonna get as dark. So I think if you want like, I guess Southern fried chicken, it's like, the breading's thick, It's that's all flour based and you get a dark brown. This is gonna be super light and crispy, more, more like mm. Korean fried chicken, like that, that's what we're going that's... for. But it really just depends on what texture you're kind of going for. Do you have like a, a size you have to maintain though? You have to be in shape because people are trying to beat you up. Mm. You know what I mean? So you gotta look like you could beat somebody up even if you're not that big, but. Uh... How strict like your training? I just go, oh, that's why you have an apron. No, I have, an, I have an apron. Uh, I keep forgetting. I, I work out whenever I feel like it. Okay, nice. Just <laughs> there you you go. Know, I don't know. You have events here? So Friday, September 6th, we are doing a live collision at the Now Arena and a live rampage. So that's gonna be three hours of live television that we're gonna do on Friday. Oh, hell yeah. And then Saturday is a pay-per-view, which is big, big, big event. Okay. It is called All Out. There's a couple of big matches on that. 
there's Chris Statlander and Willow, are gonna, uh, two of our top female wrestlers. And Chris Statlander used to be my best friend, but then she punched me in the face, and so now Willow is. It's a real whole long story. You can Google <laughs> okay. it. Okay. Um, and they're gonna fight each other in a street fight. If you like to see people beat each other up with 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 um, tables, chairs, and other items. Please come out. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna fry up our chicken and then we're gonna make our sauce and then everything's gonna come together. All right, so our chicken now is, has been uh, breaded in that cornstarch and we're ready to fry. Today we're gonna be frying at 375 in avocado oil by our Primal Kitchen. So everyone's trying to get rid of the seed oils, the vegetable oils, it's it's, it's not as healthy. So, but great alternative that it's high smoke point for uh, fry oil is avocado oil made by Primal Kitchen. This you can get in Whole Foods. It's paleo, paleo friendly, it's keto friendly. If you guys wanna be frying in this, go check out Primal Kitchen. I'm using that to fry these. We're at 375 and uh, these are gonna go right in. Like I said earlier, it's not gonna be that golden, golden brown color like uh, it would be if we used flour. See how light it is? Yeah. Yeah. So we're really just gonna go off time here. This is gonna be like three to five minutes. So while these are frying up, I'm gonna take some avocado oil. This is going in the pan here. And what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna fry up some garlic and some ginger quick. You know what, chop some of this ginger. All right, you let's see first. what I know. Okay, All right, ready, know. is this right? Am I starting right already? Yeah, that good grip. Do I keep the, pl the knife on the thing or not? Uh, yeah, that's perfect. You're the first guest we've had that holds a knife properly without me having to tell them. So what we'll do is like stack them up like this and go. Mm, that's a professional right there. So that. We're going with our garlic. You don't like that much spice, so I'm going to do a little chili flake. Has anybody cut their finger on this show before? Uh, no, thankfully, no, nobody has. You know, I was stabbed in the in the head with a fork. Really? In front of 90,000 people at Wembley Stadium last year. All right, well, if you can do that, then a little, what's a, what, a knife's nothing for a guy like that. Holy shit. Forehead? Yeah, deep? pretty deep. Uh, I, I had it. I think they put three stitches in me. Damn, how bad did that hurt? At the time, when someone's stabbing you in the head with a fork, you just try to think of, um, you don't think of pain, you just think of, how can I make this stop? <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, so we only want to go until that garlic is like pretty aromatic. It's an aromatic. Aromatic, you just want to be able to smell the garlic. Gotcha. Once the smell of garlic's in the air, which is kind of hard when you're frying something right next to it, you'll know it's ready. And then we're going to hit it right with some brown sugar. It's about a third cup of brown sugar. Soy sauce, some rice wine vinegar, and then that orange that you juice. Do I dump this guy in there? Yeah, dump, uh, dump away. And that, that the zest has all the flavor in it, so we're gonna get a really strong orange flavor from that zest. What's the best thing you can make? Like, if you had to impress somebody, you're gonna make this thing because you can crush it. I can make an insane, like, chocolate lava cake souffle. A souffle. That'll, that get them, that'll get them going. Yeah, that wows people. I make really good homemade ice creams, kind of any any flavor you can imagine. Oh, so you stick with the desserts because you know that's what gets them. Desserts gets people excited, and yeah. they're like, how the fuck? Because people are like, I've never seen, yeah. I don't know how to make ice cream from scratch. Right. But it's like, all right, if like you gave me a, a cowboy cut ribeye this thick, I can nail that every time and then you have a perfectly cooked steak, but a lot of people can I that. wasn't expecting ice cream. So now we're just looking for this to reduce a little bit more. The chicken's done, I'm gonna get a bowl. Look at that cross section. Look at that. It's still juicy. It's gonna be a lot better on the sauce, it's great. Hot. Oh yeah. Our sauce is done, pour this over the chicken. This is kind of going to soak into that. Okay, now we're going to cut these, the green onions, the scallions. We want to cut them on a bias so that they look really nice because this is our garnish. You want to cut them on a bias? A bias, a 45 degree angle. Okay. The garnish is the most important part in my opinion because you eat with your eyes first. The dish doesn't look good, you're off to a bad start. I don't think these people understand who are watching this. <laughs> but you're watching a true professional. All right, the sauce is reduced. Now we can put this in a plate. We're going to finish this off. Oh yeah, this is what they came to see. Mix it up a little bit. Yeah, that's all right. Boom. Yeah, yeah. There, that's how you do it. Boom. Perfect. Wow. Look at that. All right, Orange Castle, there you have it. Orange chicken. Last thing we have to do now is give it a shot. All right, let's do Anything it. Anything? Let me grab a fork. What do these people do? They cheers their thing. Yeah, we don't have to. We just, let's just eat it. <laughs> cheers. Best cookie show ever. That's incredible. That's so good. Guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of What's for Lunch. Orange Cassidy, thank you for being here. Make sure you don't miss any of the events going on here in Chicago with the AEW Wrestling. Yep. AEWTix.com. Uh, Boom, AEWTix.com. And guys, T -I -X. check out Primal Kitchen. They're in Whole Foods. We remember we were frying everything with Primal Kitchen today. The best, the best there is. Guys, we'll see you next time on What's for Lunch. Peace. It's delicious.